Okay, so Nidhu, let's uh, start HR for Cochin Shipyard Limited. So please introduce yourself. Uh, very good evening, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Nidhu Shankar Narayanan. I'm a B.Tech Mechanical Engineering graduate uh, from KKM College of Engineering. Uh, the college is located at Pollam, a small town in Kerala. It is uh, among the top five institutes, engineering institutes in Kerala. So I'm happy that I got admission over there and I completed B.Tech with 9.64 CGP out of 10 and with B.Tech honors degree. It is actually a degree uh, provided to only some of the few students who consistent, consistently score more than 9 CGP in each semester. So I'm very happy and proud that I am also I'm holding a B.Tech honors degree apart from a normal B.Tech degree. So coming to my family, our family is a, a nuclear family consisting of my father, uh, my mother, uh, my myself and my sister. Uh, my father and mother both are retired government servants and my sister is married and settled abroad. Uh, my brother-in-law is also a in mechanical engineering graduate. He's currently working as the director of sales and marketing, Trillium Flow Technologies, UAE. So uh, the idea of being of uh, my uh, mechanical engineering uh, also came from his uh, uh, came from his uh, by seeing him so uh, that's why i also took mechanical engineering i i used to watch him how he does his work how passionate he is for the work so from that only my passion for mechanical engineering was also built up so that's why i joined mechanical engineering so uh, coming to my uh, academics uh, so I'm a, I'm a person who is strong in both academic as well as non-academic activities. So coming to my academic, uh, as I told, I'm a 9.64 uh, CGPA holder and I have done so many projects in my uh, BTEC life. So uh, during the first year, I was the team lead for a hovercraft designing competition, which was conducted by ASME. ASME is abbreviated as American Society of Mechanical Engineers. So I was the team lead for that design competition. It was actually uh, conducted by uh, the uh, top institute of uh, top engineering institutes in uh, all over India. So during my second year, I was active member of Baha team. It is actually a competition conducted by Society of Automobile Engineers India, which is abbreviated as SA. So I am also an active member for the same. I was the transmission head during that process. And coming to my third year, uh, so we had this design project. So for the design project, I've actually, our team has actually invented a new concentric circle drafter, which we named it as Arky. This is actually a concentric circle drafter, which helps in drawing concentric circle easily. And at also at the same time, the same circle can be divided into different sectors. So during the third, during third year in college, uh, we had a subject called mechanics of machinery. So at the same time, uh, we were having uh, we were asked to draw cam profile. So this cam profile, uh, we used we we need to draw. There was a need for drawing concentric circles, and at the same time, we need to divide it into different sectors. So at that at that time, we were facing difficulty like uh, we have to take our compass, and then we have to use the protractor for uh, dividing it into sectors. So at that time, we thought like, what if we can combine these two functions together, combining the function of a compass as well as a protractor. So that was the main idea or main hinge behind developing of RP. And coming to my fourth year, uh, main project was done is solar hybrid atmospheric water generator. So it is basically a water generator which creates water from atmospheric air. Mm -hmm. So, so that's all uh, some of my academic uh, academics. And coming to my non-academic life, I was the sports secretary of the college. So I was the one who used to, to handle all the uh, sports activities conducted in the college. And I was also the active volunteer for uh, different college union activities. So, uh, so these uh, leadership qualities uh, will is shown by uh, myself in uh, being the sports secretary of the college. So, so here is, uh, so here I am uh, looking to uh, looking uh, and I would like to um, uh, begin um, uh, my employment with uh, an institution uh, where my uh, uh, where my performance will be met with growth and recognition. So that was a brief and short description about me. Thank you. 
So Nidhul, it was not brief and short. It was very long. <laughs> yeah. Right. So let yeah. me give you the feedback of this part actually, and then you improve upon this. Yeah. See, you have told everything about your CV. Whatever you have written in CV, you have told that in introduction. Introduction should be maximum by for one and half minute, not more than that. Okay. Rest of the things they are going to ask you. I found that some of the things you can avoid in introduction. Like okay. telling about the family a lot, like your brother-in-law and your sister, those parts you can avoid. That okay. is not to be in the introduction. Okay. So you need to tell about you, sir, I belong to this part. And even, you know, if you say I've got uh, this much degree with 90% and uh, this uh, with honors and all, you can very briefly tell that. That, sir, I've okay. done my graduation from this college and uh, my graduation is with honors because of this CGPA. Okay, and, so it, uh, can, it can be like... Uh, uh, completed in a single sentence yes not splitting up into different yes, yes. sentences right and if you say so many things then they you know may not ask you questions from all the things so you need to pull into in particular direction so you need to keep it very brief and you need to make it last couple of sentences you need to make interesting if you want them to ask questions from project then elaborate those things at towards the end of introduction okay don't speak many things like from where you conceived idea and what are your hobbies, what are your extracurricular, that everything should not be in the introduction. They will ask you later on. What are your hobbies? What are your strength weaknesses? Have you done something? And if they have your CV, they will ask you questions from there also. Okay. So you need to keep your introduction very precise and write uh, basically the script of your introduction and try yes, to sir. complete it within one and a half minute maximum. Okay. One and so I want to this part and uh, this is uh, my father is this, my mother is this something about your parents, not sisters, siblings, no. Okay. You need to tell about your parents only. And uh, then you have to tell anything related to your college and then you have to come to this. Maybe you can end up that, uh, sir, uh, I always wanted to join coaching shipyard and this is the reasons. And then they will ask you questions later on from there. Okay. Right? That is how you have to proceed. Okay. Sir. Fine. So work on this, yes, Nidul, and come for HR next time again. Yeah.